Welcome back. My next guest is social worker and author Declan Henry. We're going to talk to him now. Welcome, Declan. Hi, Richard. You're very welcome to A Little Bit of Ireland. Thank you very much. Uh, social worker, um, where are you based? I'm based in Kent. I work with young offenders in Kent. Okay. Now, you're originally from where in Ireland? Originally from County Sligo, on the Sligo Mayo border. Uh, I was born in Ballymose. I grew up in a village called Derrick and Law on the Sligo Mayo border. And how long have you lived in Kent? I've lived in Kent now since um, 2001. Um, prior to that, I lived in London for 15 years. Okay. I've lived in England since um, 1986. Right. So did you train uh, as a social worker in England? I, I trained to be a social worker in London, yes. Right. Uh, my, my first career was in catering. And um, in 1993, I started doing some voluntary work with young homeless people. Right. Um, I decided to leave catering, return to college as a mature student, and I qualified as a social worker in 2000. Okay. And uh, so what type of people are you working with? Homeless people, you said? Uh, I, I started my career working with, with young homeless people. Okay. Um, then I went to college as a mature student. I then worked in forensic mental health for four years. Um, I switched then from forensic mental health, working with adults, to working with young offenders. I okay. uh, worked for two years in a detention centre for, for young juvenile, a young juvenile centre for, for young offenders. And then I switched back to the community again, and I'm, I'm based in the community now, working in a young offenders team. And so, what's, uh, so uh, now what type of people are you working with? Young offenders, young um, offenders. aged between um, 14 to, to 18. They must be difficult uh, uh, people to work with, mustn't they? Because of the very nature that they are young. They're very young, yes, and obviously they're, they, they, they're, they're, you know, they're quite troubled young people yeah. and they come from you know, quite homes. troubled uh, background, mm. absolutely. Yeah, um, and, and I would imagine that quite a few of them go off the rails from time to time. Well, I, the nature of, of my present role, I mean, the young people that, that, I, that I supervise are on court orders, so they've, they've, kind of, they've all been in trouble, they've all been to court, uh, received court disposals, and I, I supervise them basically in the community. I'm really like a, a, a junior probation, right. um, young offenders. Uh, do you enjoy that type of work? I do. I mean, I absolutely do. I mean, um, I do get an enormous satisfaction from it. Yeah. I think it's the type of job that you, that you, that you have to do. You know, you have to... And, and, have a, and do you have any major successes then? Uh, I would, I would hope so, but you know, it's it's a type of job. You know, you know, how do you measure success? Because mm. you know, I, I work with you know the young people. You work with them for for a certain period of time, and then they uh, they go on. You know, I, you know, I cease working with them. So, okay. um, you know, some of them do come back. You know, they're, they're repeat offenders, but um, you know, sometimes I never see them again, and you, you don't really know how their life right. uh, pans out. Yeah, but but you would hope that uh, during the course of your work, then somebody would go on to do better things. Well, we do. I mean, every young person that comes into youth offending, you know, we, we, we do a, a, t a tailor package, yeah. re you know, period of rehabilitation, you know, we okay. put together a package that hopefully, you know, that will address their mm -hmm. educational needs, uh, address uh, drug and alcohol issues, mental health issues, and um, find them, you know, suitable employment. And yeah. At what so point on. then did you decide to become an author? I think it was after I um, did my master's degree. I, did, I finished my master's degree in 2003 and I got great encouragement from um, a professor uh, at um, the London School of Economics. She's quite a well-known academic in England. She's a uh, professor, Eileen Monroe. And Eileen really encouraged me to, to, to actually continue writing. She, you know, she, um, she told me that she, she really liked my writing style, the way I, I, I go into detail. and. At, at my master's degree was primarily in research, which is, um, and she said, you know, if you if you decide not to do any more research, I do recommend that you actually um, write, write more. And I think, you know, I've always wanted to actually to to write and be an author, but um, I, I didn't actually push myself until two thousand and four. Right. Now we have two books here that you've written. Uh, the first one is the first one, glimpses. First one is glimpses. Yes, I mean right. this this is really what we've been speaking about, young offenders. Um, right. It's a collection of twenty six short stories. Okay. Um, Sixteen boys, ten girls, and, and that gives kind of. I mean, I wrote the book to actually increase people's awareness, the public's awareness of the problems behind disaffected young people in society. Right. And so this, this has different stories uh, of different cases that you have Absolutely, worked. absolutely. It gives the whole gauntlet of, of social problems that young disaffected uh, teenagers uh, face in society. Right. It also goes into quite a lot uh, as well about you know, the reasons why, and obviously the main reason is um, 
you know, ineffective uh, parenting, poor parenting, poor yeah. role models. Yeah, which is why you find your cases. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and do you think if parents took a better interest in their children, regardless as to their problems or backgrounds, do you think that that would uh, make your job a bit easier? Of course, you know. I mean, we 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 really work with people, you know, that that are you know poor poor parents, yeah. poor role models. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you're always a, going to have the need for people like you, anyway. Um, but um, I mean, what what can people do to make it easier? Well, that's true, but I, I think that the society, uh, particularly here in England, we have seen the underclass. I mean, we, we have a, such a thriving underclass here here in this country, and I think yeah. that has escalated over the years, um, and that the problems have intensified. Okay. Um, Tell us a bit about Buried Deep in My Heart. Buried Deep in My Heart is completely different to, to, to Glimpses. It's, uh, it's really my childhood autobiography about growing up in rural Ireland during the 70s. So um, it's completely and different. that's completely your life it's, story. It's, it's, it's completely different, yeah. Okay. A um, million miles really away from, from Glimpses because, you know, right. I had really such a, a safe, happy, secure childhood yeah. in, in rural Ireland. Yeah. And, um, and it, I, I wrote it, I suppose it... I, I wrote it because I'm quite nostalgic about it because I've lived away from from um, yeah. from Ireland for so long now. Yeah. So, uh, where can people find some information about your books, Declan, and uh, if they are interested in getting? But they have books? my main website. My main website is www.declanhenry.co.uk. Okay, and that's that will link uh, people to all my work. Because in addition uh, to my two books, can they see some examples of your work on there? They, they can indeed, absolutely. Because in addition to to um, my two books, um, I have written and contributed to to over thirty publications yes, now. Sir, yes. So I write lots and lots of articles, yeah. and obviously I write for for your magazine, Irish the, the Irish News. Community News. You do, yeah. I do a monthly uh, social Fashion, features. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've, uh, we've had some very good feedback from the features that you've written for us. Oh, that's, and, that's and kind. It's, it's great to see that actually, because uh, it's great to get some feedback from the stories and things that you yeah. do. So. Yeah, we're oh, that's, really that's pleased good to about, know. You know. I mean, I have tried to actually, you know, do a whole variety and, mm. and um, have some... Anything new coming out? Uh, well, at the moment I am promoting uh, Buried Deep in My Heart that was published okay. in May. So um, I've spent the summer uh, doing lots of interviews for that. Yeah, and you're getting um, very good reviews on it, aren't you? I have, yes, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Uh, and so I hope to, um, I'm going on holidays soon, I'm going on, uh, on holidays to Australia soon and okay. after I come back, yeah. uh, as we enter the winter time, I hope to um, come up with some ideas for a third book. I really would like to write a third book and will write a third book, yeah. but um, you know, when you're writing a book it, you have to be incredibly disciplined, you've got yeah. to give it 90% of it your time. Yeah. And at the moment I suppose I have been writing a tremendous amount of articles, mm. I will continue writing yeah, for the Irish good. Community News, to know. but I will probably slow down on, on some yeah. other articles because um, they're, they're the very, time very, the very time consuming. Yeah. And Declan, thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure uh, to meet you. I wanted to meet you for a long oh, thank time. Thank you very much for inviting uh, me on the show. Best of luck with the books because they are fantastic reads. Um, again, uh, we'll put your details on the screen so that people can log on to your website and find some, uh, some information out. Uh, in the meantime, Declan Henry, thank you very much indeed and the best of luck with thank the writing. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Thank you.